Hi guys, um, I said a little while ago I'm going to do a, um, go over um, some of the things um, to do with uh, airbrushing and uh, that's been on the back burner to be honest because I've uh, been quite busy uh, doing things for my good YouTube buddy uh, Marnaeus <clears throat> but um, unfortunately uh, I've uh, done all the modelling on this guy but I'm unable to prime him at the moment because I'm still waiting for the green stuff to set around the base uh, which is a bit annoying so I'm left with a, a free night to, um, to uh, just muck about really um, so uh, I'm going to take the time now to try and go over a few things we're going to be doing hopefully I'll be able to get it in shot when we go over it uh, I'm going to try and show you how to do like a, a nice a light source effect with the uh, plasma pistol there I've had a quick go at um, uh, painting it up ready for that uh, but let's go over a little bit about the um, airbrush setup um, now with the airbrush I'm, I'm working with at the moment as you can see caps off got air in and if I can show you the pressure gauge here um, can you see the needles moving as I squirt? Now I've got it set quite high at the moment. Uh, can we see on the dial? So that's 40. But if I turn the dial down, let's put my airbrush down so I can do that. And you can see it. I've pulled it up on this one because that locks it and you can't turn it. So you pull it up and you turn it. And there's a squirt now because I've turned it down somewhat. So it's gone down to 30. I mean, the best way to do it, I've, I've only got one hand free, is to be actually squirting the air and turning the dial down at the same time. Because then you can see the dial going down to the uh, exact pressure you want. But as I've got one hand, I can't squirt the airbrush and turn the dial at the same time. So I'm going to turn it, turn the dial down more now. And as you can see, the pressure's gone down quite a bit. Um, but obviously, I'm going to turn it around again I'll show you the pressure again we've gone up again so it's just a case of um, changing the uh, PSI the pressure uh, per square inch to actually what you want it to, to be so anyway let's just leave it there we're at 30 um, I'm going to be using this colour which is a model air colour and uh, these are actually good to go straight out the airbrush but uh, and I will say, but I still um, dilute them, uh, to be honest. Uh, I use a Vallejo airbrush thinner, and there's a little bit of cleaner in there as well. Um, but as I say, the, the, they're made to go straight out the airbrush. Uh, but you find if you're working at low PSI, and you're only squirting a tiny amount of paint out uh, on tiny little things, uh, that you, you might have problems, uh, even with the model air, if you don't thin it. Um, so that's it uh, okay guys um, got no air in my airbrush uh, at the moment uh, as we can see on camera there and there's no paint in there um, so I want to try and get this done on camera and as clear as I can um, so uh, let's get to it um, now I'm going to use some model air and it's uh, called Light Sea Blue and this is just Vallejo uh, uh, airbrush uh, thinner with a little bit of the cleaner so let's just show you what the so that's the uh, cleaner and the thinner uh, is out of the way but it's in the same 200ml bottle as that and it just says Vallejo uh, thinner that's all it says and it's like a, a milky colour in the pot um, the actual thinner itself um, I believe the uh, thinner can be picked up in 17 mil bottles 60 mil bottles uh 32 mil bottles and 200 mil bottles so there's uh quite a lot of scope there for what size you want to get but if if you're airbrushing uh, and you can get hold of the 200 mil i definitely recommend it you'd save quite a bit of money in the long run there uh but anyway um i'm just going to try and get this into shot here okay so I'm working against myself here guys because the camera's in front of me so I'm having to put the uh, airbrush the wrong side of myself. So let's just do that. 
Now there is a technique um, called backswing which I'm going to show you in a moment but you can do it this way oh we're still on camera there so I'm just mixing it in um, that's gone down the cup now if I can just show you on camera here um, if you actually hold the needle back and squirt the air the um, paint shoots back up the cup and it will it'll mix all the paint in there so you can do that technique uh, but anyway uh, let's see um, how that's spraying on camera not too bad okay right I'm going to uh, try and uh, See if we can get this in cam on shot on camera. And we'll just uh, check that this is all getting in on shot on camera because it's quite crucial. This is. I need just the air, uh, the airbrush and that. everything's spot on. Yeah. Well, keep it nice and still if you would. Right. Okay. So what I'm doing now is just checking to see how the paint's coming out and uh, if you can see on the paper there it's coming out nice and smooth. So I'm going to start hitting it onto the model there. Can you actually see what I'm doing? No. You need to tell me Darren if you can't okay. see. Tell me when you can see. Can you see? Definitely just what's yeah. on there. So I'm just going around that area. And hitting more so in the middle, and I'm going to do it on the top there, definitely. Yeah, and I'm just going around, and it's now we'll do the other side, just checking how the paint's coming out again. And as I say, I'm doing this exact the total opposite way. So I normally would paint, so it's very awkward for me. Just going to do a little bit more on on this part there. Just again, just checking it's coming out okay. That should do it, really. I mean, I could, I could do it a bit more if we want. That'll do. As you can see, um, the the colour there. Zoom as much as you can, if you can, Diane. Let me just put this out. Still there. Yeah, I'll we'll keep it still now. So, okay, I'm just going to turn it round. And you should, should be able to see there how the colours just bled just on the outsides there. Um, now I'm going to touch this back up very quickly. Uh, if I can get the right colour that I want. Now here we go. And uh, in the recesses I'm going to use azure moon uh, blue. And uh, just I'm just going to dot into that there. I'm not taking too much care to be honest, this is not, uh, is this on camera? Mm -hmm. Just keep it still. Yeah, I'll try to, I've got to turn it around there. Sorry about all the chatter, but I really want to get this on camera, so my uh, daughter at this moment in time is helping me, so huge thank you. Right, um, right there. That is as how I, uh, I've been, um, recently painting uh, plasma pistol chambers and uh, it looks like it's glowing and how long did that take how many minutes with all the six. six minutes you could do that in way less you could do that in three minutes maybe even a minute if you're just not trying to get it in uh, shot on camera and uh, no real skill well the skill involved there is this I'll show you well, if we can get zoomed down on this paper 
uh, Where Darian. about? Right oh, there, okay. Right, I'm going to just show you. It's, oh, at this moment in time, I'm controlling. If we just look at this trigger here, Daria, I want to show people that this controls your airflow, and I'm controlling just the airflow. But as I slowly pull it back, if we can look there, Darren, I'm going to start showing the paint come out. But see, see that? What happened there? That um, basically you're squirting way too much paint out, um, too quick, and, and it's just going to spot. So the skill is just being very slow and gentle with the uh, airbrush there. So I'm going to go backwards. Let's see if I can follow this line. So this is why I say before, on you know, you don't want to airbrush your first model as a bane blade, really. And we can get really close and really fine lines if we can see down there. But then again, if you make a mistake and you do that. It's not good, but it's, once you've been playing with an airbrush for an hour or two, you will have full control and you will be able to do cool effects, like I can do something like that there, and I can fill it in fairly quickly by pulling it back and using more paint. Now, using um, a piece of paper is not the same as using a model. Let me just turn that off for a sec. Using um, a piece of paper is it's completely different from using um, a plastic miniature. The different, uh, the huge difference is that the properties of, of paper is meant to absorb uh, paint, and so it sucks it up like a sponge. Whereas the plastic miniature, um, obviously, the paint hits it, and it's not going to be absorbed. So, if I do this, it's not going to slosh about too much. But if I do it on plastic, it's going to have a different effect it's going to drip more so you have to be more careful on uh, plastic so best thing to do prime a bit of sprue if you can and practice on the prime sprue and then you've got the exact environment um, for um, um, your, your airbrush to know exactly how you're spraying um, muck about with uh, thinning it as well but don't be afraid of the airbrush um, worst case scenario you clog it up you can um, easily take it apart. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not going to lie, um, I was so in the dark about airbrushes when I first um, um, was looking into them. I, you know, I thought, needles, needles, oh, well, how the hell are you going to clean it out if it clogs up? I, I actually personally thought that the needle was hypodermic. I thought that there must have been a tiny little hole where the paint came out. Little did I know that uh, it's Basically, it's nothing more than a glorified knitting needle. Obviously, a bit a lot thinner and and more delicate and metal. But um, if things clog up, pull it out. Use use your uh, airbrush cleaner or whatever you're using to clean your airbrush out with, and uh, uh, you're well away, really. Um, I think that's it for this one. Um, I mean, obviously, I've probably forgot loads of the questions that people have been asking me, but. Uh, if you've got any other questions, put it below, and as soon as I get a chance, I'll uh, try and get round to uh, going over them.